we're finding a lot of gold. Woohoo, our biggest nugget of the day. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I'm out here again in the hot, warm, beautiful temperatures of British Columbia. Because we did so well in our last video looking for gold under the Wawa, we're back at the same location again to do just the very same and hopefully find more gold. La 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 Let's get into it. This courage is strong. I found this little patch of bedrock that's almost too shallow to snipe. I'm only able to work it because the water is just high enough for me to do what I need to do, which is to check the bedrock crevices without dealing with the dirt like you would in the dry. I just found a nice little nugget. <laughs> I'd argue that this method is way easier and more efficient than just using a gold pan. I put it on my hands and then I dropped it. Hopefully we'll find it. That is, of course, if you can safely hold on to the gold. <laughs> Found it! Alright, there we go. A little one. This spot is really shallow, but I'm working in line where I found the other pieces of gold. There's gotta be something in this pocket. So the cracks in bedrock can run in any direction. I seem to find the most amount of gold in cracks that run in the direction of the river. Kind of like what you're seeing here. Be sure to watch this video to the very end because all this gold certainly added up. I'm noticing now that I must have hit something on my GoPro to turn it from 4K resolution to 1080p. So it might be harder to see these little pieces of gold, but at least they add up. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Oh, it's so warm out today. <laughs> Botox is free out here. I moved on from that spot and went a little more towards the river and found another patch of bedrock where I've actually had luck a few videos ago. And I managed to find a decent little piece of candy. One of the more taxing parts of gold sniping is the amount of gravel you have to move sometimes. I spotted a tiny crack that was hiding gold, but it was five feet underwater. And because I'm not wearing any weights, it's difficult to stay down. I don't know if you can see that, but I see a piece of gold stuck in that little crevice. I'm trying to reach it, but it's hard. Gold is very visible underwater, especially due to refraction. The tiniest of gold candies really pop out. Again, making underwater gold hunting a very effective way to mine. <laughs> I don't know if I dropped it or it's in the bottle. I didn't see it go in. Yeah, sometimes you'll lose the gold, but often you find it again. Unfortunately, not in this case, so I just decided to keep working the hole. Just having a quick break. Need to relax a little bit. My mouth is getting numb. Every once in a while I gotta get out and lick my lips. I've decided I'm gonna make a how-to snipe video. I think a lot of you would appreciate that and I think it'd be easy to make, so stay tuned for that. Right now I'm just looking for bedrock exposures. Smooth bedrock isn't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for cracks in the bedrock or fractured bedrock. Smooth isn't bad as long as it has a crack or two in it, but I'm looking for the places where gold is gonna get stuck. And that's exactly what we found. When I spotted this little wedged piece of gold, it made me dig into the bedrock further. Which led into finding this little guy. And even our biggest piece of the day so far. 
Oh, our biggest nugget of the day. Of course, moment 349 of I should have tweezers. <laughs> Nice, that's a nice looking piece. They always look bigger underwater, but hey, it's still a nugget. Continuing where we left off. Another one. There's another little nugget underneath it. This is very rare this happens, but I just started fanning the crevice and a nice piece of gold just showed right up. This piece was actually really flat, so I'm not surprised it blew away with the other gravel. That piece is super flat. I don't know how much longer I could last. I'm starting to get really cold. Walking around, I found this beautiful little crevice that looked good, so I cleared the rocks around it to make room for me to work. Oh, I can't balance myself. We just found another gold loaded crevice. Again, I must have hit something on the camera to make the quality worse, but I think I should actually look into a better underwater camera. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I continued in this area for as long as I could because I knew the gold was good. But slowly, the winter temperatures were starting to take effect. I'm tired of finding gold. Oh, yeah. It's also really hard to get out of the water when you're consistently finding the yellow candy. Anybody will tell you the cure to gold fever is to find more gold. I just found a little pocket, four little pieces in here. Time to make my way downstream. <sighs> As you can see, it's starting to get a little darker. <clears throat> Sorry. I always get hiccups for some reason after I get out of the water. Because I'm back again at my friend's claim, we're gonna split the gold, but we came up with an agreement. We'll split it when I get to my house. That way we don't have to do it at the river. Anyways, here's the sneak peek. Yeah, that looks good. That looks like what we typically find here. <gasps> Imagine if I spent a whole week here, we would find a lot of gold. Anyway, let's get back to the house and weigh all the gold together. So here's our candy from the candy store. That's not a bad take. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. The gold at this river is really good. We even got a couple chocolate bars in our candy bag. My favorite piece is the bigger piece we found today. But also we have this flat, unique piece, which I think is kind of cool. It reminds me of those pieces Dan Hurd sometimes gets at his Pickerton claim. And of course, the lead I found. We can't forget about the lead us gold prospectors remove from the river. Now let's weigh this beach. Okay, let's start with our biggest nugget of the day. <gasps> let's start with our fine stuff first. Nine pounds, 2.04 grams. Our flat piece, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, okay. Now our big chocolate bar, I'm gonna say 0 0.9, 0 0.74 grams. So all together, 0 0.5, 3.5, 3 grams, all right. And I almost forgot to weigh our broccoli. 
So three grams of candy isn't terrible, but where I am on this claim, it's pretty far down that river, meaning the gold isn't gonna be very big. You can find big nuggets and I have seen them there before, but the chances are much higher when you are further up on the stream. I did, however, acquire a claim that's way further up in the hills, but there's only a little sliver of a window that you can access it. So come spring, we're gonna test that claim out and see if there's bigger nuggets. Isn't that right, kitty cat? That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos or even check out my other social media platforms if you want to see anything else extra. I do have a Patreon account where you can see some early release videos and exclusive stuff and even a P.O. box if you're interested to mail me something silly. I don't know if I should say that. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, more videos to tickle your feet. Ugh.